How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fight. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> oh, I see. I'm with, you know, I was working on this video and stuff and you know, you how you get a little glimpse of stuff when you're going back and forth as far as, you know, doing the Google search and stuff like that. And I kept coming across something as far as Barack Obama leaving office and the attack on Trump, um, um, inauguration. Basically, they're going crazy with him. <laughs> The protest is unbelievable, you know, it's, it's like, oh my God, should I do this story, or should this go ahead on to, um, you know, what's going on here as far as, you know, the inauguration, you know, as far as the president-elect being put in office and stuff, and basically, everybody's going crazy. Now, before I go into it, like, I'm just going to put this story out here, because I got to film it, something hot that's coming as far as these people acting up. Anyway, I want to share this story with you in case you don't know about this. This is a guy named Trenton Copeland. He's 33 years old now. Now, he was 27 years old. He was also locked up for a nonviolent um, charge and stuff. And he was a um, nonviolent drug charge and stuff. He got locked up at 27 years old. And basically, if it wasn't for Barack Obama, he was going to do the rest of his life inside of it because they was not letting him out. Anyway, I'll give you an idea exactly what happened as far as Barack Obama, Barack, excuse me, ex-president Barack Obama. Can I call him my president until the day is over, you know? I'm good. You know what? I'm going to do it. My president, Barack Obama, did before he left. Check this out. You know, I'm going to tell you now how Obama helped this Florida felon from being condemned to die in jail. Now, this is what happened. President Obama, last days in office, was important. One of some 300 or so people who all now have the opportunity to live outside the prison walls. One of these people was Trenton Copeland, who penned a letter to revolt in October detailing how he was sentenced six years ago to die in prison for a nonviolent offense. This is what he said. I'm Trenton Copeland. I'm 33 years old and sentenced to life in a federal prison for a non-violence drug offense. With no parole in the federal systems, I have been fundamentally condemned to die in prison. Though it is, though it is a memory I do not enjoy revisiting. I will never forget the day I was sentenced. I was 27 years old and to hear the judge tell me I'm being committed to the custody of the Bureau of Prison for the rest of my life was unreal. The life sentence I received for nonviolent drug offense screamed that I was beyond redemption and unfit to breathe air as a free man ever again. Words cannot even begin to touch the feelings I had. I was only 27 years old, locked up for the rest of my life. I couldn't really process it, as I still can't, to be honest. He also said, um, the letter detained how Copeland had turned his sentence into opportunity to better himself. He accepted the full responsibility for his fate, admitting his actions put him behind bars, causing, you know, charged with conspiracy to deal cocaine. And Copeland received a life sentence because he had two prior convictions for marijuana and cocaine possession. Since being a sentence, he has worked to get a GED and had dreams of becoming a youth counselor helping prevent others from suffering the same faith. He closed by saying without receiving clemency from Obama or major change just to the criminal um, justice system, he would die behind um, bars. It is no secret that Congress has not um, unresponsive to all of Obama pleas to reduce magnum, um, mag mandatory minimums for the nonviolence offenders. In eight years, the former president has had to take matters into his own hands and grant clem 
limitations at its own discretion. Also, a week after um, Copeland essay published, Obama commuted the um, sentence of nearly of 100 prisoners. Copeland's name was not on the list. Good news came to dozens more federal inmates across the United States that month, bringing Obama total to a number of communication, commutations above a thousand, more than the previous 11 president combined. On Tuesday, in one particular dramatic last minute cl cl clemency action, Obama pardoned 64 and committed, commuted the sentence of 209 others, including Chelsea Manning, the Army private convicted of stealing secret documents and military documents and giving them to WikiLeaks. The president also granted um, commutations um, Tuesday to Oscar Lopez Rivera, a Puerto Rican independent activist who was mentioned, who was a member of the Armed Forces and National Liberation and Terrorist Organization that killed and wounded people in 1970 and 1980 with the bomb attack. In addition, Obama pardoned more than, a, more than five dozen people, including baseball great Willie Cavoys. Cavoys, a retired Marine General James E. Cartwright. You know, Copeland was not on the Tuesday list, um, was not on the Tuesday White House list, but on the last full day of Obama presidency, Annie Fries sat at her front desk in Pensacola marketing office. At five minutes to noon, the phone rang. It was Copeland's lawyer. The president had released his last list. I should shout. My head started hurting, Fry said. Then she finished her shift and called her son, who will now be free before he turns 40, with half of his life to go. Crazy, right? To be able to put a face to all those disastrous drug sentence laws makes um, a, such a big difference. Sadly, we are doubtful that's incoming administrations will do the same. Trent Copeland will still be behind bars if it wasn't for Barack Obama. You will be missed. You will be missed. They don't know it now, but you will be missed. How can you say that? See, this is the thing. He didn't leave them there to rock. Whether you can agree with him or not agree with Obama, he didn't leave them there to rock. But I'm going to tell you something. People are going to pass judgment and stuff like that, but I'm going to tell you this. If you was in prison, the story would be totally different. So I'm not going to go against whatever, you know, um, what I was reading and stuff. It was a lot that was going on. I also read a lot of different other things as far as, you know, when you go into Google and stuff, you kind of get a lot of information on a lot of different opinions and stuff. And, you know, people don't feel those, this is right or that is right. But it goes back to what I always say to you. Everybody changes their story when it always happened to them. As long as it don't happen to them, everybody has so much to say. But when it happens to them, it's like, oh, I need your help. Please, please, please help me. Please help me. Oh, now you want help. But when it went to this person, you didn't want them to get help. But now you're in the same spot. You want somebody to help you. Like I said before, and I'm going to say it again. All them transsexuals who went out to Barack Obama jumping off his face and stuff like that. Let's see what you do now with this one. Because like I said before, the disrespect that I watched a lot of people did to him, I think it was very wrong. But who am I to say anything? Because people are just going to do what they want to do because that's where we live in. And the thing about it is that it's gotten so bad that we have a president, which is now President Donald Trump, that tweets. Now I come across this video, I'm gagging. He's the 45th president. He's born June the 14th. He's 70 years old. He is a Gemini. He's 6'3". He's a Gemini like, like me. I'm gagging. He's tweeting you. When he gets mad, he goes to the office, he tweets you. <laughs> Congress closed their eyes to it. They don't care. That's why Barack got them out of there. 
Because the reality is that they'd have been left on a rock. They wouldn't care. They wouldn't care. So thank you once again for President Barack Obama, you know, um, clemency as far as him getting out and stuff like that. Because I'm going to tell you something. You will never in a thousand years know what they went through. You won't. It's easy to sit inside the house when you're warm. But when outside become inside now, you're outside and it's freezing and it's cold. Oh baby, it's a different world. It's a different world. So it's easy to pass judgment on someone you don't understand until you become that person everybody don't want you to help. That don't want help for you. But like I said before, thank you President Barack Obama. Because right about now, we are in the belly of the beast. We don't know exactly what's going to happen, but for what I was seeing as far as me on the news feed, I saw cars, I even saw, I think the president, I don't know if it's a limo or something, set on fire. I see a lot going on. You know, and I, I can't even say anything. You know, I want to say this is not the way you conduct things, but this is the way he conducted it. You know, this is the thing. If you throw love out, you get love back. Some cases, not most, but if you throw hate out, you're going to get a lot of heat back. Because you're not talking about 100 people or 200 people. You know, this is the thing about it. I don't think people register. I get into an argument with you. It's like 10 of y'all on me. You're talking about billions of people on one person. You're not thinking about that. Because in your mind, you're thinking of this old little circle in your head. But reality is that you don't know the, you don't, you don't know the fire that you're sitting in. You don't understand it. But... I guess you're going to learn the thing. <laughs> anyway, the best. I just want to get that great news as far as um, my President Barack Obama left as far as, you know, out of office and stuff. And you will be missed. Anyway, Mr. Barack Obama and Michelle and the kids. Anyway, the best. I just want to share this there with you. And I would love to hear you feel about this. And i like to let you know that I love you. And I want to thank you for watching. Cast the